Hey guys, so I know everything behind me, I know this is absolute like crap right now, like my background is awful, but um, I have to like clean this because I feel like I said this like a million times, maybe I don't. Um, I'm moving rooms, I like remodeling and such, and this is my job for today, and like the next couple days is just to clean everything out of this room, and right now this was pretty much like the storage room. So my job for the next couple days is just to clean this all out, so sorry if I'm not making as many videos, that's why I'm in a t-shirt right now, but I put on makeup for you guys. Um, and... I did Project 10 Pan. Project 10 Pan is like where you have to finish like 10 projects before you can buy any new ones. And I didn't. I didn't buy any new ones. And I mean, well, mm. but I've been done with this for a really long time, so I guess it's not really a lie. I finished this like, um, probably like two or three months ago. It didn't really take me that long. But instead of doing it for like makeup products, I did it for like body products because I was just buying like face washes and lotions and body sprays like non-stop. But I finished more than 10 of them. I tried to do 20 if I could. I'm not sure how many this is. Biore Toner. This is a really good shaving gel. It's like $3. Warm Vanilla Sugar Body Shower Gel. Butterfly Flower Lotion. Another Butterfly Flower Lotion. Bedhead Conditioner. Bedhead Shampoo. Aveeno Positively Radiant. Just kidding. Positively Nourishing Hydrating Body Wash. DKMY Perfume. American Girl doll. <laughs> this is so old and I had this and I was like, I went through this in like a week because it was so like old. I, it was disgusting. Anyway, but I, I finished it all. I used it all up. Um, it was gross. This is my favorite body wash of all time. I don't know if they're discontinuing it or not, but this is called Nina Margarita by Bath and Body Works. And I have a Senorita Margarita from Philosophy now, but I think I like this one better and it's cheaper too. So I'm going to go back to this. They still have Lancome Makeup Remover. Ojon Hair Rub Out Dry Cleanser Dry Shampoo Acne Wash Body Lotion from Pink and Cream Cleanser Daily Moisturizer by Aveeno The Body Shop Makeup Remover Deodorant Toothpaste Shave Gel um, Shave Cream This, okay, everyone like raves about this I might have to buy it again I bought this like a long time ago Like I bought this like last summer And it just like sat I used it like once and I hated it I just like sat in there and I was like, oh, I can use it up. And I really didn't like it, but it's really good for dry shaving. If you like dry shaving, this is really good. It's also really good for under your arms because it's moisturizing and doesn't leave like the bumps and whatever. But as for my legs, I really didn't like it that much. But I might try it again to see if I like it. Co Bigelow Lemon Body Cream. I really like this one. And usually I don't finish up jars and stuff, but that one, this one I really like. It smelled really good. Very fresh. It smelled like Pledge. Shower Jelly from Lush. This is my favorite nail remover ever. Nail polish remover has like a little sponge and then it has a little applicator that you can take out. It's all disgusting now. <laughs> this little sample of a Nutriana cleanser. Everything fit in this giant bag. This is water. I use this for like tanning now and stuff. It's just a body spray. This lip gloss from Lip Smackers. A whole soft lips. Nothing in it. Nothing. See that? Nothing. An eyeliner. This is CoverGirl, L'Oreal Eyeliner, MAC Eyeliner, MAC Concealer. Okay, it doesn't look done, but it is. It's definitely, there's something in it. Arbonne Eye Cream, Vaseline. Well, it's, it's like lips. Matte. Oh my gosh, look at the dolls in the back. That looks so creepy. Don't think I'm like a freak. Okay, let's turn you this way. That's even worse. I look. I live in like a crap den. You guys probably think I live in a crap den. That's what I live in right now. Okay, and this, I don't know if this counts as hitting pan. Well, I did hit the pan. But like, look at this. This is my powder and it looks all like normal, right? So I like took it out of my backpack one day and I was like, what happened? Look, it sunk in. So I opened this up and it's like stuck in there and I can't get it out. Like I only had like the stuff around the sides left. But like, I tried using like a butter knife to get it out and I tried like tweezers and like nothing will take this out. If this has ever happened to you, I want to finish up my powder because I don't know what to do about this. This sucks. This is kind of expensive too. Isn't it like 30 bucks or something? Alright, well, that's all I had to do. Sorry, I just want to make this video because like I said, I'm cleaning and I have to throw all this stuff away because my mom, like, she keeps coming and she's like, why do you need that bag of empty stuff? And I was like, because mom, I have to make a video. And she's like, what type of video would you make on empty products? And I was like, Project 10 Pan. I'll talk to you guys all later, and thank you for watching this video. Okay, bye.